Hey guys, welcome to another expanding uh, practice question. So here is a uh, expanding question where uh, you have to s expand uh, in a bracket squared, a bracket squared, and a lot of people just do this. So they think, okay, we have brackets, we have a square outside, so it must match the rule where we have. A times B in a bracket squared is A squared B squared. So they just go that equals X squared plus uh, 3 squared, which is X squared plus 9. Now that is totally wrong. If you did this in an exam, you will get a big cross. And the reason for that is because. Uh, a bracket squared like this one where you have two terms adding each other that is equal to x plus 3 uh, multiplied by x plus 3 All right, that's what the squared symbol means the same term multiplied by itself so this bracket is multiplying by itself which gives you two brackets which means you need to then use the uh, expanding method we talked about earlier where we draw some arrows from each term in the first bracket to each term in the second bracket and then expand it that way so x times x is x squared x times 3 is 3x 3, 3 times x is 3x 3, 3 times 3 is 9 so that gives you x squared plus 6x plus 9 all right, try the second one and then come back when you're done. Okay, so that equals 3x minus 4, bracket 3x minus 4, and then draw the arrows. So that gives you uh, 9x squared. 3 times 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times negative 4 is negative 12x. Negative 4 times 3x is negative 12x. Negative 4 times negative 4 is plus 16. So that gives you 9x squared minus 24x plus 16. And uh, a general formula that people have found from expanding these uh, perfect squares which we call it so when you have something like this a plus b squared we call that a perfect square and people have found that when you expand something in the format of a plus b squared it usually gives you a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now when you expand I usually just write the two brackets and write the arrows and expand it that way but if somehow you feel like using this general formula will help you expand it faster then you can also try that. So using that general formula for example 3x minus 4 squared you can tell um, that a is 3x so a squared must be 9x squared uh, b is uh, negative 4 so b squared is 16 and uh, 2 times a times b is 2 times 3x times negative 4 which is uh, 6 times negative 4 is negative 24x so using that general formula this then becomes uh, 9x squared plus negative 24x plus 16 which matches what we had here when we expand it out normally so personally I just expanded out normally I don't really use this uh, 
I don't really use the general formula, but it's up to you. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.